Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So today's review is the Alcatel 4044V uh, flip phone cell phone. So uh, recently, of course, I had gotten rid of my contract with my cell carrier, uh, which I had an iPhone with. Now, my iPhone, of course, is all paid off. It's been paid off for a few months, and I went on to another contract with them uh, for $65 a month, which gave me unlimited data, um, you know, texting, the whole nine, right? You know, uh, unlimited long distance for within Canada, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, um, I decided, you know what, um, 65 bucks a month, I could put that into something else like <laughs> drum kit, um, which recently got paid off too. Um, but um, when I started thinking about it, like my wife has a phone with unlimited data too. Um, and of course we have a house phone, which landline for emergencies because we live out in the country. Cell phone service is not always perfect. It's actually better in the winter than it is in the summer because of all the trees and stuff that get in the way with, you know, their leaves and stuff blocking signals. And, you know, we live in a bit of a valley, right? So anyways, um, I got to thinking because we ran into this already where she's in the grocery store. She needed me for something and she couldn't get a hold of me, right? And it's like, ha <laughs> ha, so she's got to take her best guess and hope she buys the right thing. Um, same as donut shops and so on, right? Because a lot of times I like to just sit in the car and veg while she's doing her, the groceries or whatever. But even when I'm out, it's kind of nice to have a cell phone either way. If I'm out by myself, I started to think, well, I don't go by myself too, too often. But when I do, I've got no way of getting a hold of anybody if something happens. So, hmm. So I started to think, well, I don't want to get into rehooking my iPhone back up because I actually, I'm selling that iPhone. I want a basic phone and I love flip phones. Flip phones are like cool. They're very nostalgic too because um, if you've been around since cell phones came out like I have been, um, we have flip phones. We've had all kinds of phones, right? And flip phones, I always like the flip phone style. Um, and I'm not a real big person even on texting on smartphones and even though I've had smartphones for a lot of years now I don't ever use them to the potential So it's been a humongous waste of money for me owning smartphones, right? Because I just talk on them do the odd text, you know that sort of thing, right? And this thing definitely meets that criteria Although even this has got a few bells and whistles that <laughs> I kind of wish weren't there, but they are so anyways, we have a main phone app, which you can just, you know, push the OK button when it's highlighted and uh, you can start dialing or you can just dial anyways and it just auto activates. You also have a contact or address book so you can, you know, go quick and say, OK, I want to go and I want to push that. I want to call this person, click that and say, OK, do I want to call their house or their cell phone, whichever uh, type of thing. And boom, you hit OK and it just automatically dials, which is nice does have a speaker phone on this thing, which is quite good, actually. Um, has a camera, 720p, 2 megapixel, which is more than enough for what I need this phone for. I have higher-end cameras for recording other YouTube videos with. Um, text messaging has the messaging thing, so, but it's old school. It's, this is a dial pad, and you got to go nee, 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 forever and, you know, type of thing. But, hey, it works. It does texting. <laughs> I actually tried to text my wife. It took me, like, three minutes. took her, like, ten seconds or less to reply. Um, so, yeah, doing this old school is a long way. Gallery app for your pictures, videos. Um, you have a calendar, you have a clock in here, clock app, which has a stopwatch and timer, and you can set alarms to wake you up in the morning, whatever, or from your nap. Um, music app, so for all your MP3s that you want to put into the phone. FM radio as well is built into this thing. Uh, you also have an email program. You have an internet browser, so you can surf the internet. You can put data on this, but it does have wireless, okay? And I only hook it to the wireless because I didn't want a data plan because that's another $75 a month, you know, on top of the rest of it. Um, can get quite costly. <laughs> um, video app, of course, for playing back your videos. It's got a calculator on it and your main settings app for doing all your settings with, okay, to customize the phone. So we're looking at almost nine hours of talk time. The memory is expandable to 32 gig. Once you put a memory card in this, it disables the onboard one gigabyte of storage. So one gig is kind of zappy. Um, it is 4G network, okay, and 4G, 5G network ready, apparently, because uh, it does have the 4G, and it's always on 4G. Um, so it gets really good reception, which I am very shocked for a flip phone getting this good a reception even out in the country. 
when we first moved here a few years back, we had uh, Google Nexus 5 phones, which are awesome phones, and they'll always stay updated, which is nice. However, the cell service through our carrier sucked big time. Like, you could be lucky to make a phone call, and that's all we had was cells. So immediately we went to iPhones because iPhones have better antenna systems in them, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, we get the odd drop call because we're only getting, make, you know, maybe two bars at the most, most of the time. We're, we're over eight clicks from the nearest um, cell tower. So that's quite a bit of a distance, and we're in a valley on top of that. So And the forest of feelings living out in the country, you've got forest everywhere. So that uh, also suppresses cell signals, although in the winter it's much better. Even our internet through Rogers Rocket Hub is much better in the winter than it is through the rest of the year. Um, but anyways... Um, so I decided to get a phone again, but I didn't want data, and I wanted basic phone, just a basic phone, because I'm ditching my iPhone anyways, there's nothing wrong with it, it's perfect, but I just want a regular basic phone, and you can buy the, this particular phone for $100 or less Canadian, or American, okay, um, to buy them outright, and then just put them on, you know, like a pay-as-you-go contract thing, or you can put it on a regular thing, which... I, I went for, hmm, how much money is in my pocket right now? Um, not enough to buy it outright. Okay, let's go zero down. So I went zero down through Rogers, and for $35 a month, okay, which is pretty much half of what I was paying, because I was paying 65 so now I'm paying 35 uh, So $30 less a month, that's a massive savings over a year, okay? Um, I get unlimited candlelight calling. I got my unlimited texting, video, and picture messaging system as well, and no requirement for a data plan, which is thumbs up. I love that because um, on my iPhone, I actually had to have a data plan to do picture and video texting, right? This phone, and with the kind of system it uses, I don't, which is even better. And... Um, and, of course, I didn't want data. I have wireless in this. This also has Bluetooth, too, so you can hook up to different devices wirelessly and transfer files and all that. Because here's the other clincher. You only get a USB wall art charger. You do not get an actual USB cable with this phone. And it's going to be a bit of, for some people, maybe a bit of a challenge finding that right cable that supports data and power transfer so you can charge the phone and transfer data at the same time between this and your computer. Um, I happened to find one in my collection out of all my cables. I, I went guinea pig crazy and found one cable out of my whole collection that supports data and power transferring uh, with this phone. So now it comes up as a regular icon on my desktop. I can easily get access to my stuff and I don't have to go through the Bluetooth or any of the other stuff. Bluetooth is also very handy on this if you have a car phone. You hook it into your car phone system uh, for your stereo that has Bluetooth. Okay, so that's another benefit. Um, I also have call display, among other features, on this phone that came as part of that contract for 35 a month. Um, the front screen will light up when somebody calls. Um, it also, you can just press any button along the side to light it up, and it tells you your time, your date, your carrier width, and how much battery level is less. You don't have to go the long way and do it this way and have everything pop up. Um, volume controls are on the side. Of course, your USB connection. Headphone jack is on here for private listening of your music and FM radio. Um, all that other sort of nice jazz. Now, it does have a one-touch speed button for the camera to access it instead of going through the app and going, okay, I want to go scroll here and I got to go up here, you know, and so on and then move over. Oh, and then I activate my camera. Okay, so you don't have to do that. You can just go one-touch speed button. Now, the problem with the one-touch speed button is when you answer your phone, typically, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, us lefties are liable to push that button and start taking snapshots or video while we're yakking on the phone. If you're right-handed, your thumb is going to do the nasty work on that one. There is no way to bypass the button. That annoys me. So, two downsides of this thing. The speed button for the camera access, pain in the neck. You've got to learn to hold your phone differently, answer it, hold it like this, you're perfect. No problem, okay? Close it, hangs up the call. You can set this thing up for auto answers, so as soon as you flip it open, it automatically answers. 
The nice thing about the display, though, you get to see who's calling first before you decide if you really want to talk to that person right now or just ignore them by letting it ring until it stops. Uh, I've also got voicemail on this and all that other jazz, and I don't do voicemail, okay? I figure they can call me back. Um, it does have call waiting, though, which is kind of a drag. But um, the no USB real cable for transferring stuff to make your life simpler, that's a downside. Should have come with that. Um, and, of course, the um, speed button for the camera, other downside. So where do we slam this puppy? Well, we're going to slam it at 4 out of 5. Still highly recommend the phone. It's a great phone, great sound. Uh, the reception in the country where I am is <laughs> freaking pretty good for considering, you know, this is not an Apple device. And Apple devices have the best antenna systems in my, in my books because I've been through a lot of phones over the years, okay? I've been around cell phones since they first came out. Um, so, no, I'm not that ancient, but, you know, um, the thing is, is I've also owned a lot of cell phones, and the Apple ones do seem to have the best, but this one is actually a pretty good competitor against the iPhone. And I bought myself a cheap little case at uh, Dollar Tree for this thing that actually fits the phone, although I had to put a foam in the bottom so that when I open it, I can actually grab the phone a lot easier. Otherwise, I'd only have like the ends here to pinch, and that'd be it, and that was a pain. So I just jammed a little piece of foam down at the bottom, and that gave it enough height that it's good, and it's got a sticky back on the foam too, so that actually worked out really well. So I bought two of these cheap cases because these cheap cases don't last long. Um, you know, you get a couple of months out of them. But uh, I got one in the car that I'll get more life out of because it permanently stays in the car. And uh, then this way I can take it out of this thing and just, you know, take the phone out, leave this on my belt, and then just slam it up in the car to for easy access. Um, I was looking at more expensive cases. They have another case that, you know, could almost fit, almost fit two of these in there. And it's like, I'm not paying 30 bucks for that. And then they had another case that was even bigger. And it's like... They don't even make flip phones that big anymore, <laughs> okay? If they do, I don't know where to buy one. Uh, but I wanted something that was sleek, thin, you know. It's actually one of my favorite colors is black, um, you know. I love the light-up keyboard. That's actually quite cool. It doesn't have a flashlight, but who cares? You know, just pop the screen open for a few seconds. You'll find the, the key slot in your door to get into the house if you forgot to turn your lights on. Um, but, yeah, overall, it's a great phone. Quite happy with it. Quite happy with the massive savings. Uh, if you do the math, when you get into plans like with smartphones and stuff, like I was paying 65 bucks a month, right? So you times that by 12 months. Uh, so 65 point times 12, $780 a year it was costing me. And I owned that phone. Okay, so that was with the new plan since I owned it. I was actually paying a little bit more before that. Uh, or no, I was paying 60 bucks a month, but 65 I got the unlimited. Either way, 65 bucks a month, owning the phone outright, $780 a year. And believe me, I don't talk that much, um, although the calling is unlimited regardless. It was the data was unlimited. That was a difference. And, you know, yeah, you got a lot more capabilities with a smartphone than you do or something like this. But if all you need is this, who needs a smartphone? It's a waste of money. So anyways, with this phone, and that, uh, that was a zero down contract for this one at $35 a month for a year, it cost me $420. That's a massive savings financially. You know, that money alone I can put into other things now that I'm saving every single month because I'm saving $30 a month, you know. So you figure just $30 a month times 12 months, that's $360 a year I'm actually saving by not having that iPhone anymore, you know, and not having to worry about a data plan. And besides, if I want access to data even on the go, my wife can hotspot her cell phone because she has unlimited data. She can hotspot it, and I can connect this phone to hers through the hotspot. No big deal. Or I can connect up to Tim Hortons or whatever I want to do, right? So, yeah, free Wi-Fi. Who needs a data plan? But anyways, so that's where we're at with that, folks. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Got a lot out of it. 
Um, I love the phone. It's great, um, you know, and it's doing really well for being out in the country. I was surprised, but it is a 4G phone too, so it does have really good antennas in it uh, for being able to capture the reception really well. Still getting the odd drop call, but hey, we expect that out in the country, even with iPhones. Um, but uh, I'm quite impressed with it, quite happy with it. Does what I need to do, and it saves me a boatload of cash, and that's the main things. I still get communication wherever. So see you on the next one. Ciao.